Uh, if you guys can see this, that is a giant snowbank directly in front of us. What is the car gonna do? All right guys, today we're in a parking lot here. Uh, it's completely snow covered, no lines, and I'm a couple layers deep within the lot and there's not an obvious exit. I've never tried this before, so I'm really curious how it's gonna go with start FSD from park, having to back out of a spot. This is a new one to me, so we'll see how this goes. I also got some footage here of walking up to the car, what that looks like. So I'll throw that in here. But uh, yeah, let's get started on this. So it looks like I have to press and hold and tap brake to confirm. So I will do that. And let's see, it's in reverse immediately. Hopefully, yes it is. And we're backing up, wheels turning. This is weird, but we're working really good and it sees that car. Yeah, it's seeing cars here, no problem. Will it make a left out of here? No, okay, that's not great. I don't think it knows where to go. <laughs> well, this isn't great because there's a giant snowbank here blocking the road, so I'm gonna have to do something. Uh, if you guys can see this, that is a giant snowbank directly in front of us. What is the car gonna do? I'm hovering the brake here because this is really sketchy. Okay, it went up to the snow. You know what? Okay, so far, it's doing a U-turn. <laughs> Definitely an interesting way to get out of here. It obviously didn't know that this was going to be like this. Uh, but I wasn't kidding when I said it's a complicated parking lot. And so, yeah, let's see if it figures this out. Uh, that was pretty cool to see the map of everything within the lot here. It's kind of gaining context. And it actually thinks, I think it sees our exit there. Oh, this is a unique way out. Okay, so now we're going directly past where I was parked. However... It seems to have figured out that this is going to be a way out. So, it's kind of taken the back way, but this is the way I would actually often take. So this is really good. It already kind of sees there's a parking lot there. There's a lot of detail on this thing. Um, this is pretty cool, but I think it's figured it out. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't intervene. We got to have some interesting action. Even here is a really complicated exit. You can't see too much. However, it is safe to go and we're moving. That was pretty cool. I gotta be honest, that was pretty cool. Um, I'm really interested to try this again on my next commute to this place and see what it does. See if it'll go in the back of that parking lot again. Uh, but yeah, now that we're out of there, let's let it run here until we get onto the freeway. So again, this is kind of back industrial roads here in Saskatoon. Uh, this is also a really tricky yield. Um, on the left, uh, you can't quite see it, but it's a yield sign and there's always trucks and such parked there. However, the car checked, it was safe and it made a nice rolling yield sign. So honestly, quite good. And now just very simple stuff here, rolling forward. Uh, exactly as I would be driving this. I wouldn't do anything different in this case so far. Really rough, so sorry if there's some, some noise here and we were losing, we're losing snow off the car. I could hear it chunking through the wheel, so kind of funny, but. It's all right, uh, let's see, is it gonna lane split us or is it gonna realize there's two lanes here? So we're signaling, we're slowing down, and it's moving over a really proper amount. So honestly, perfect performance here so far. And we got someone cutting in front of us here. Interesting, it thinks it's towing a car. That's a little bit funny too, but that's okay. Pretty good luck on this green light. This one can take a while. I'm happy about this. Oh, will it go? Personally, I may or may not have gone there, but yeah, that's too bad. I would have gone because this light's a couple minutes. I might end up uh, fast forwarding and skipping through this bit here. All right, so we've got a yellow light there for the, on uh, the cross traffic. We're about to get a green. We've got a green light and it's going immediately. So that was really good reaction time. Now let's see how smart it goes here. It's really nice and tight up against the snowbank. Good performance though, and uh, moving right over to my turning lane, so this is good. Let's see, is it gonna slow down nicely and merge? Kind of understanding the lane situation here, and it seems to be 
Um, our lane definitely has, as you can see, we're on the line technically here, but uh, yeah, the snow on the left side here isn't helping. They didn't really clear it right up to the, the boulevard, so ended up being a little bit tight. Let's see if we're gonna end up being able to take a left here on this busy, this busy uh, intersection. Okay, so these two cars went. Let's see, are we gonna go? Yeah, it sees that we have time, so we're going. Awesome, really well done here. This little bend is often pretty slick, pretty slippery, so I'm hoping nothing, <laughs> nothing crazy happens here. I've never done FSD on this entire route at all at any point, so I'm not concerned at all, but yeah, you're seeing it for the first time along with me. And uh, yeah, we got some slow pokes here, so this, this isn't gonna be a problem. Uh, but then we're going to be merging onto, uh, if you're from Saskatoon, you know, Circle Drive, it's kind of the busiest freeway. It does a big ring around the whole city, and this is where everyone usually ends up if you're going in the city. And so let's see how it does here getting onto Circle Drive and see see what it does here if it wants to go on the fast lane or what it wants to do. So a perfect merge in, and I do have it set to hurry mode. So if, if it's detecting that it wants to switch lanes to, to hurry up, then it will. But... Yeah, it looks like we have a pretty uneventful circle drive situation here. So we'll see how long I end up filming this, but uh, you know, it's still interesting with all the slush and all the junk on the road and, and the traffic to, to really test this FSD 13.2.2. Uh, yeah, full self-driving is pretty cool. It's my first time with an electric car. I've only had it for just over a week and it's been my dream car for six years. And so this is a really cool experience and I'm I'm really psyched and I, I, I can't wait to make more videos about this car. So upcoming on the channel, I have winter tires coming up. I'm gonna show you guys that you don't need to spend big dollars on winter tires and you certainly don't need to spend any money on paying shops to do your winter tires. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I've got everything ready to go to install the tires, but look at this, it's moving over to the right lane to pass the slow poke in the left lane. Love to see it. But yeah, so I've got that video coming up and I'm also gonna be doing some extensive testing on the range in this car as well as the range in, well, sorry, in this car, the range with these tires, as well as versing the range on the winter tires. I'm also gonna do some noise testing with the decibel reader, so it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna see how much different the winters affect both my range and, and the noise in the car, as well as some traction testing. I've got a few ideas to test traction. So overall, I'm pretty excited about this to see I'll see what I can do with this channel and see what kind of stuff I can teach you guys about Arctic cold weather. Um, today it's not too bad. We're only looking at minus seven or minus eight right now, but it's getting really cold really soon. Uh, about minus 28 or so Celsius. Uh, I'll put a Fahrenheit calculation up on screen. But yeah, really, really, really cold coming up. And I'm gonna do some testing of how much range do I actually lose? How much would I lose for if I'm parked for eight hours? Uh, stuff like that. That's going to be coming up and you know there's not too many people doing testing in Teslas or EVs in general with, with temperatures as cold as what I'm experiencing here in Saskatchewan and Saskatoon. So hope you guys are excited to see some really true extreme cold weather testing videos because I am psyched to make them as there's a lack of that out there. I'm going to cut this one for now but thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video. Subscribe and like uh, like the video if you got some value out of this and you're curious to see more of some, some winter testing. And leave a comment, especially if you have ideas for me or anything that you can think of that you'd like to see or things I can improve on. I'm welcome to it all. I just want to engage with, with a small community building here. So thanks a lot for watching. See ya.